Since the border crisis became the dominant summer news story, city and county governments have been clear. They want Washington to pay for the humanitarian crisis along the South Texas border. Allen is happy to do this effort and uh, we will continue to do so. But at the same token, I don't think it's fair for our taxpayers to bear that burden. Although U.S. Senator John Cornyn and Congressman Henry Cuellar scrambled to get those funds moved to the border, Congress is leaving Washington for summer vacation without responding to what many of them continue to call a crisis. It's definitely a political battle that's happening right now. Right now, an emergency border bill lingers, but it's doubtful it will pass. For now, city and county leaders here have vowed to continue their humanitarian efforts. And law enforcement officials say it will not impact the security of the community. We'll continue to surge our operations. In fact, what we're seeing, seeing is along the areas where we're surging our operations, um, we're seeing a, a reduction in crime. Uh, more vehicles, more, more patrol units, more officers in those locations are having a, uh, uh, an effect on crime in those particular areas. But not everyone in the Rio Grande Valley is disappointed. Immigration advocacy groups like La Union Pueblo Entero does support reimbursement to valley governments, but continues to fight against the passing of the Humane Act. Well, the Humane Act basically would turn the, the due process that these children have on its head. Uh, it would put a lot of power in the hands of Border Patrol to screen them for the possibility of getting some sort of protection for something like being uh, a victim of human trafficking or of extreme violence. The fight isn't over and neither side is giving up. We have to be ready for once the session comes back in, uh, in a month from now, to you know be ready to push back against it again. In Hidalgo County, Brett Crandall, Action 4 News.